To create this design, you need to add a cube. Then scale this cube along the z-axis in this way. Then apply the scale. Then go to the edit mode. Go to the edge mode. Shift Ctrl Alt and select this corner edges. And Ctrl B add bevel on them. Shift factor should be 0.5. Add a 4 segment bevel and give the bevel width 0.4. Then select this top and bottom faces and Ctrl B add bevel on them. Select everything, press M and merge by distance so double words will get merged. Shift D to duplicate this object. Go to the edit mode, turn on the x-ray mode, select these words and move them along the y-axis in this way and move it along the z-axis. Then select the star face and press P to make a separate object and then delete this part. Select the space, go to the edit mode and then E to extrude it and move it along the z-axis. Go to the face orientation, select everything and press Alt N to recalculate the normal. Now the face orientation is right. Uncheck the face orientation, select these two objects and shift Q and use the boolean operation difference. If you face this kind of difficulty, select this cutter object and adjust its position little bit. Then apply the boolean modifier and delete the cutter object. Then select these faces and Ctrl X to dissolve them. Then select everything, press M and merge by distance so double words will get merged. Then select everything and mesh and symmetrize to the symmetry. Then shift A, mesh, add a cylinder. And add a 24 word cylinder and take it here. Then move it along the Z axis, select these two objects and shift Q use the boolean operation difference. Apply the boolean modifier and delete this cutter object. Then select these faces and Ctrl X to dissolve them. Then select these faces and use the insert operation. Then extrude them and move them along the Z axis. Then select this edge loop and Ctrl B add a bevel on them. Select these faces and Ctrl B add a bevel on them. Add one segment bevel. Then select these edge loops and Ctrl B add bevel on them. Add a two segment bevel and shape factor should be one. Then select these faces and use the insert operation. Then take the knife tool and create cuts like this. Now here you can notice these loop structure are not accurate. So you can select this edge loop and you can use the set flow on them. Select this edge loop and use the set flow on them. Then select this face, delete it and then select this edge loop and go to the face and grid fill. Adjust the offset and turn on the simple blending. Select these words and press J to connect them. Then select everything, mesh and symmetrize take the symmetry. And then you need to create a topology here. Select these words and connect them. Use the knife tool and create this kind of cuts. Then dissolve these edges and then take the symmetry. Then select these faces and delete them. Select this edge loop and face and grid fill. Then hit the control tool and add the something modifier and shear smooth it. You will get this kind of simple looking design. Turn on the mac tab view and the cavity so you can see the detail. Then select this edge loop and control B add bevel on it. Decrease the selection, press alt s to scale it along the normal. Then select this edge loops and control B add bevel on them. Then select this faces and use the insert operation and extrude them along the normal like this and use the insert operation dissolve this edge, select this edge loop and control B add bevel on it then dissolve this edge then select this edge loop and add bevel on it add one loop cut here and there you go you will get this kind of design you can see the form you can see the topology so that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye. See you next video. Take care.